Sanskrit, an ancient language of India, has a rich history. Many fundamental science and mathematical concepts were first described in Sanskrit texts. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in Sanskrit, both in India and around the world. Why is Sanskrit considered a language of science? What is its significance in history? And how does Sanskrit benefit us today? These are the core questions. Hello and welcome to The Core Questions. Why is Sanskrit considered a language of science and math? Sanskrit has a long academic history dating back thousands of years. In fact, Sanskrit texts were the first to describe many important scientific and mathematical concepts. Former Indian President Pranab Mukherjee noted in 2016 that many important scientific works were written in Sanskrit and stressed the importance of preserving and promoting this ancient language. For example, the concept of zero was first described in the Brahmi numerals used in ancient India, which were written in Sanskrit. The decimal system was a major scientific breakthrough in ancient mathematics and is considered by many to be the most revolutionary achievement of the time. The significance of the decimal system can be seen in the limitations of the Roman numeral system, where writing a number as large as 1 million would require writing the letter M 1,000 times. Thanks to Sanskrit with the zero, we just have to write the number 1 followed by six zeros for 1 million. Additionally, the Sulba Sutras provide the earliest known description of the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Also, the Aryabhatiya, written by Aryabhat, provides a clear explanation of the principles of trigonometry. Aryabhat also calculated the value of pi, 3.14, and his works were later adopted by the Greeks and the Arabs. Sanskrit also has a long medical tradition. The Charaka Samhita, a Sanskrit medical text, provides a thorough understanding of human anatomy, pathology, and the diagnosis and treatment of various diseases. In fact, this text is still studied by Ayurvedic practitioners today and has had an impact on the evolution of modern medical practices. Sanskrit also had an impact on the evolution of philosophical thought. The Upanishads, an ancient Sanskrit text collection, provides a comprehensive understanding of the nature of reality and the human condition. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in integrating traditional knowledge systems. PM Narendra Modi has spoken about the significance of Sanskrit in the development of Indian scientific thought, highlighting the significance of integrating Sanskrit with contemporary science and technology. Our Sanskrit has been said that the word is Amrutam Sanskritam Mitra, Sarasam Saralam Bacha, Ekta Mulakam Rashtre, Gyan Vigyan Poshakam. That means our Sanskrit language is also a saras and a saral. संस्कृत अपने विचारों, अपने साहित्य के माध्यम से ये ज्ञान, विज्ञान और राष्ट्र की एकता का भी पोषण करती हैं, उसे मजबूत करती हैं। How exactly can Sanskrit be incorporated in our daily lives? It already is. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in using Sanskrit for modern applications. For example, a group of researchers from India, the United States, and Germany recently launched the Sanskrit Computational Linguistics Project, which aims to develop Sanskrit natural language processing tools. The project emphasizes Sanskrit's potential for use in modern computational systems and in artificial intelligence. In fact, the government of India is actively promoting Sanskrit. In 2016, the Indian government established the Rashtriya Sanskrit Sansthan, a university-level institution that promotes Sanskrit study and research. The university provides undergraduate and postgraduate Sanskrit courses, as well as research programs in a variety of fields. And it's not just in Indian academics. Sanskrit is getting used all over the world. The Indian government announced in 2019 that a Sanskrit chair would be established at the University of Lisbon in Portugal. The role of the chair is to promote Sanskrit study as part of a larger effort to promote Indian culture and language in Europe. By incorporating Sanskrit into academics, the Indian government is not only assisting in the preservation of this ancient language and its rich scientific and cultural heritage, but also utilizing it as political soft power in bilateral relations and geopolitical strategy. It is worth noting here that India once led the world in science, and Sanskrit was a major reason for this. Scholars from Arabia and China would come to India to study with Indians at Takshila and Nalanda. As we move forward, it is critical to recognize the importance of Sanskrit and its contribution to the advancement of modern technology and the promotion of Indian culture around the world. 
I want to know your thoughts on Sanskrit, so be sure to leave your comments below. Like and share this video as well. Thanks for watching the core questions by the Times of India. Until next time, this is Priyanka Deo signing off. Namaste.